The internet is a black hole, and it's hard to get out once you've entered. And there are many miscommunications in this black hole, right? So you have one person right here, person A, another person right here, person B, their homies, their best friends, right? And then they go do their own lives, and they're still homies, their best friends. But in between these two people, you have the black hole known as the internet, okay? One person sends a text message. It goes into the black hole, goes to the other side of the black hole, meets the other person. Here's the thing. Those text messages, you can't convey your emotions through a text message very accurately. Some, everyone texts differently. This is just an example of the damages caused by the internet, especially regarding relationships. One person might be like, hi, blah, blah, blah. And they don't use any emoji, uh, emojis. This person just doesn't use emojis in general. And the other person receives the text and they're like, this person isn't using emojis. They're not excited to talk to me because this other person uses emojis. And they're interpreting that based on their own form of texting. There is already so much to interpret within a social interaction and texting makes it much more confusing. So they know their homies, they know their best friends, but... One of them is texting weird because he's just a weird texter. And the other one is like, huh, my friend is texting me weird. Is he mad at me? So there's this black hole in between them. And then they meet up in person again. And now this person's acting a little bit weird because he thought this person was acting weird over text. But this is just how this person acts. And it's just weird. Some people send you paragraphs and then in person they're too shy to speak. And some people do the opposite. They ignore you and in person... They are literally mesmerized by you because there are different styles of texting. And it's just another layer of language and another layer of the black hole in between two individuals. These screens that go into nothingness. And this confusion that infinite possibilities causes. And that's just a part of life. But we have become so disconnected from ourselves in this process and from what's real, you know? So many people say, oh, I don't know how you're going to make it in the real world. You know, you got to pay those bills and do this and do this. And I'm out here like, <laughs> like, what real world? Like, that's the real world to you? Paying the bills and, like, going to a 9 to 5? That's the real world? Like, what dimension are you in? What planet are you on? Who the are you like that is not the real world as a matter of fact this person that's saying you better prepare for the real world is living in the fake world if you're telling me to prepare for the real world you should be teaching me like how to start a, f a fire i mean like a campfire or how to like build something in the forest if i were to like like to survive you know or how to forage or how to farm or that's the real world, nature, like, in connection to others. Like, the real world is not sitting in a cubicle nine hours a day. Like, as a matter of fact, since I'm on the, I have a whole other video about the dystopia, but, like, we depend on grocery stores for our food supply. Like, what happens if it shuts down? Like, because we're in the fake world, we don't know how. It's a whole other tangent. But besides that, yes, the internet is a black hole. And... Once you stop putting your energy into this black hole of nothingness, you'll have so much more energy to go explore the real world. I have a poem to read. And it's a paradox because right now you're in the black hole as you watch me. And I'm making this content that will go inside a black hole that will reach such random individuals. It's crazy. Um, obviously... Um, I am being a hypocrite, 100%. But the first step is awareness. And I do want to make videos, but very intentionally. I did turn my phone black and white and deleted many apps. There are ways to make your phone more minimalistic. But here's a poem. It is called Wilderness Unleashed. 
Every morning I awake and stare at an illuminated black hole. Each passing moment marks the end of my life, my soul. To others, these hidden obscurities I notice are too much. Such observations require undoable change. But time is wasted when I make a fuss, for I've been programmed to stay the same. This cage is not a house. The human seems to have happiness when he happens to own a home, but he possesses the key, locks himself up, and falls asleep. When you no longer let people in, you've trapped yourself in the process. To be constricted may feel like a win, but in places like this, there is no bliss. Hunger gnaws and aches, begging for a bite of the buffet you store, but convenience has led to neglect, and neglect to anger, I've forgotten how to roar. Thunderous echoes of freedom happen to protect. I leave the cage, and action oblig obliterates regret. So it's basically this whole thing of, if you see animals in the zoo, or like a hamster in a cage, or your dogs, for example, they are staying inside because they don't have an option to leave the cage. And we actually have the option to leave our cages. We lock ourselves in, but we are following the status quo of our characters that we've created of ourselves, and we just stay inside the cage. We possess the key and lock ourselves inside. And freedom is scary, it's dangerous, but as I said in this poem, a thunderous roar echoes protection. The roar of freedom is a boundary in itself. It's a boundary. To be free is to be protected. I'll repeat that again. To be free is to be protected. Like I said in my previous video, a duck that has only lived in a man-made lake does not know what a fresh lake is like. We do not know what an alternate way of life is. And we do have the option to exit this cage. We do have the option to get out of the black hole. And that's what makes the black hole so alluring. You think you have the option the whole time. You think you're going to make a change at a later time of your life but before you know it you're still sitting there when you have the option you always procrastinate using it